Hi everyone, Basil Chapman here. Friday, 11 o'clock, Tiger Financial News Network, stock market update. Dow's up 73 at 35,676. At an all-time high, is at an all-time high, and made a new all-time high, 35,765 this morning. Leg D in the Chapman Wave methodology. We've got our one-to-one -to, -one to the upside here. Everything's succeeded. Uh, I, I would suggest early next week, based on the S&P, which is only in leg C at an all-time high, that probably Tuesday or Wednesday, maybe, we make some kind of a, a topish, uh, just on the daily chart, and have some kind of digestive phase, a short-term uh, digestive phase. QQQ is underperforming right now. It's trading at, uh, where did I go? Uh, QQQ is down $1.59 at $3.75. Uh, it's under its all-time high. I, I believe that it's going to be a laggard in terms of the coming two months because the Dow seems to be one of the strongest at this particular point. IWM, Russell 2000, holding okay near the upper band. Uh, it's down 13 cents at 227.85, stuck in that uh, resistance area. Gold is at a fabulous move. Is it still holding? No, it's not holding. It is breaking out. It's up 33 at 18.15, way above the 200-period moving average of 18.02. One of the reasons why we liked it when we were doing the show about a week and a half ago, I said, I like what's going on because the GDX, the GDX, which is the, this is the market vectors gold miners ETF. That's leading the charge. And it's now right at the 200 period moving average up a dollar at 33.77. Crude oil, it's kind of, I wouldn't say struggling, it's still making all time highs, not all time highs, but recent highs. Uh, it's, down, it's up 32 cents at 82.81. I'm going to see what happens this coming week. I just mentioned that uh, uh, oil prices in California are out of sight, just uh, amazing prices. <clears throat> TLT, this is the yields. The yields are at this particular point pulling back a little bit as bonds rally, but they're kind of stuck in a range. And what's really important, I'm just going to do this. I didn't do it during my show, but I'll do it right now. The VIX index is at 15. As long as it's in the 16 and 15 area, it says that buyers should be coming in. If you start to see next week the VIX going to the 17, 80, 18, 30 area, that's going to say, uh-oh, some sunning's coming in. But so far, this is all very good. Stay tuned. You've got Larry Pesavento. Should be a wonderful show as always. you got Think or Swim. You've got Steve Rose. You've got Dave White, We've got Tom O'Brien wrapping it up. Have a wonderful weekend, everyone. I'll see you next week. Check out my opening call. And my video is up. My video for my webinar that I did on Tuesday is now up for archiving, having a look at. Have a wonderful weekend. See you on Monday.